minutes so close to the boulder. I just thought you might like it better than I would have I gotta tell you, though, the hardest part was just keeping the hat on. We'll make sure it stays on. Randy never loses his hat. I know it. Y'all set? Yes, sir. Come on down there. We get the shot? Yeah, we got it. Outstanding, Kevin. Chaps, go to Cairo in five minutes. All right, strike my attempt. We're going to Cairo in five minutes, people. South America to Cairo in five minutes. See that? It is a small world after all. Hey, everybody, welcome to the set. What do you think so far? Well, that's great to hear. My name is John Telfer. I'm the assistant director for the second unit. Now, the second unit shoots both stunts and action sequences for films like Raiders of the Lost Ark. And today, you can see how stunt work for the second unit is created. In fact, give me a second. Hey, boss? Yeah. Sorry, can I borrow a camera real quick? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. About two minutes. You got it, folks. This is one of our Harrison Ford stunt levels. The man you just saw in action. Please give it up for Kevin Bersard. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. You are an awesome man. Great job yourself by the way. Thank you, sir. I said you can tell everyone exactly how you pull this. Of course I can. Maybe enough as I go. <laughs> really? No, not really. <laughs> so you're not afraid of you. I would be crazy not to, really. I mean, that boulder, it is unbelievably heavy. <laughs> Uh, really, there's like 20 guys got to push it up the, up the hill. Yeah, apparently 18 kilometers today. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so it's not a real boulder, but it's not a cotton ball, is it? Well, that's true. We did take over 400 pounds of rubber to make that boulder look and roll properly. Wow. Yeah, 400 pounds of anything can do a lot of damage. Absolutely. You know, there is a certain amount of risk and danger involved in absolutely every stunt that we do. I didn't trust the stunt team here that was watching my back. I promise you I wouldn't do it. It's all about teamwork, right? And sadly for me, the team is too back there. All right, get started, everybody. Let it go. Right, right. Enjoy. We'll see Kevin a little bit later on. Now, folks, all the stunts you're going to see today are absolutely real, as is the risk involved in performing them. Now, our casting crew are trained professionals, going to show you some great stunt work, as well as the detailed preparation that goes into making it all happen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey, John. Hello, Annie. Extras are ready. Well, let's bring them on down here, please. Folks, speaking of trained professionals, here's a group of people that is neither. Let's make some noise for the audience actors. Come on! Yeah, you guys look great. Look at that. Oh, you got the turbans, you got the robes, you got the, the Reeboks, the Crocs, the flip-flops. Very authentic. <laughs> Come on down here. First of all, thanks to all of you uh, for helping us out. As you know, you'll be playing our Cairo Marketplace crowd. And I'll tell you what, while we strike the set, we have time for a quick, very simple rehearsal. How about this? When I say action, let's get out of this straight line. I'd like you all just to behave like a random crowd. Just be a crowd, we'll see how it looks. Here we go, everybody, and action! Be a crowd! Oh, be a single moving crowd, everybody. <laughs> Be a much better crowd, everybody. All right, cut. Stop hugging. <laughs> Looks like a tailgate party in Bed Bath & Beyond. Get back in line. Line up again, everybody. Line up if you could. That'd be great. Line up for me. Very nice, sir. Obviously not your first line up. Let's try this. I'm going to say a single word. You guys just overreact. You are now happy. All right, cut. Not underreact. You're going to overreact. Really loud. You're happy. There we go, cut, very nice. How about this one? Angry! <laughs> cut! Terrified! <laughs> cut! Confused! <laughs> wow, that's perfect. That's awesome. really good. <laughs> Amazing effect. Everyone, do me a favor, everyone. Do this! Do this! Do this! Do this! It's the Egyptian village people! Let them hear it! Look at that. Really you're on hot poles, everybody. Very hot poles. That looks great. Hey, look, you're in a video. You're very, very talented. Now everybody shimmy. Everybody shimmy. Now turn around. Everybody point up. Point down. Look at me and lean right. Lean to your right. <laughs> well, how you doing, sir? Having a good time? Well, let's fix that. Come on down here. Hey, what's your name? Where are you from? It's Sean from Connecticut, everybody. Let's hear for Sean. But Sean, I'd like to give you your very own scene. Would you like that? Yeah. All right, it should be fun. We'll call this Sean's Death Scene. Nice. <laughs> and not a reoccurring role. By the way, Sean, what, oh, we are going to be happy. Now, what's going to happen is that, Sean, you will approach me with an imaginary knife. You can use mine if you like. Take that. Careful. I'm going to shoot you with my handgun repeatedly. Now, when I shoot you, Sean, it's your job to give these people the most over-the-top, 
loudest, longest death scene they've ever seen. All right? So when I shoot you, get very animated, flail your arms, yell in agony, really play it up. In fact, if you could, kind of like move close to the crowd, parade back and forth a couple times as I shoot you, and come back to this spot to die. No, you can't. It's not the Matrix. Yeah, you're gonna just right there. You die there, and die saw things real concrete. Okay? You just hold all these thoughts inside your head forever. Okay, stay right there, guys. When I shoot Sean, it's your job to act upset, like he's holding all your fast passes the week. Okay? So it'll be really, really bad. Ready, Sean? Face me. Now, okay. Hold up your knife. You're already doing that. When I say action, approach me slowly. But first, you know what? Give me a menacing look. Yeah, not a seductive look, Sean, thanks. A, uh, an angry look. <laughs> okay, a Hulk-like look. Very nice, here we go, ready? Action, here comes Sean, oh no! He's hit, he's gonna show them the agony and pain, and... <laughs> or he's just gonna talk around for no good reason. Look at that, yeah, show, see those people there? They wanna see it too, Sean. Yeah, oh, look at that! <laughs> wow, you even knew before that bullet shot, it's coming. Look, he's down, let's make sure, oh, three more to set in. Sean's going in front of the Sean. And the man going through his pockets. Very nice. Back in line, Sean. Guys, it's time to meet your co-stars. Let's welcome back to the set our Indiana Jones once again. Hit for Sean, everybody. Okay. Thanks so much. And like one of our Karen Allen stunt doubles, a lovely and talented Haley Knott. Let her hear it. Hey, Thanks for coming out. Hi, guys. Hey, Haley. All right, guys, you're going to a marketplace. Now, what do you do in a marketplace? Shop, yeah, you'll be shopping, buying things, that kind of stuff. Now, unbeknownst to Andy and Marion, the evil bad guys will be sneaking up them from every possible direction. So what I'd like to do is give you all a response line, something to say, how about this? I'd like you all to say this sound. Ooh. Let's try that together. Ready? Give me a big ooh. Hit it! Not bad. Even louder. All right, you know what? This side, show them how it's done. Give me your line. Really big! Again, come on, guys. Give me your line! <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Good. Guys, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up means you're ready to work and paying attention. Very important. I've always said always to be paying attention. And uh, I don't know, checking out a girl who's way out of your league. Sir, are you with us? Hello? <laughs> Sean part two. Okay, good. Guys, follow Andy up there. Have a great time seeing a few minutes. Hey, boss, we're ready for you. Give me one second, guys. Did your marks. Be safe. Check your stunts. Don't lock your keys in your car. What's up, John? Hey, folks, I'd like to be the director, the stunt coordinator for the second unit. This is Riley Claremont. All right, folks, how you guys doing? Thanks for coming to see us. You guys are awesome. We appreciate it. Uh, hey, real quick, the best thing about working on the Indiana Jones movies is we still shoot them old school, meaning that most of the stunts you see on screen still shot live in front of a camera, no CGI. We're shooting it live today, so sit back, relax, and uh, thanks again for coming to see us. Hey, boss, extras are all ready. You want to talk to me now? Like... I get last looks in a second, John, actually, to talk to Kevin about some cameras. That's good. Thank you, brother. Kevin, what you got for me? Hey, thanks, boss. Everything's right here just the way you wanted to shoot this. We're going to do this as a two-camera shoot with both camera A and B set on wide. Now, we know that Kevin's got the key to this next scene. Absolutely so should. Uh, camera B locked with Smith, ready to, well, to keep him running nice. with all the action. We've also got camera A set at 36 frames per second instead of the usual 24. So we're going to mix in some slow motion effects. I think between the two cameras, we'll get you some great shots. Give a high five. I like that. Awesome. Okay. And uh, for the kid, how about a close-up of the three-quarter shot? You good for that? I can do that. I appreciate it. Everybody give it up for my DP, Director of Photography. That's Kevin Morgan. Oh, good. Why are you ready to go? All right, you got plenty of time. Remember, uh, truck goes hot as soon as Mary gets still in the back. Yeah, you got it, brother. Hey, let's talk about the truck real quick. I know you just checked okay. it out, but for my benefit, that truck's packed with explosives. Right. Safety harness in the back. You hold on tight. And then when I yell cut, you get out of there as fast as possible. Okay, I'll I play it. it. How's the uh, whipper team feel? Good, sir. Yeah, you locked out the car? Too bad. Okay, beautiful thing. Go ahead and get to one. Kevin will be with you about 45 seconds. Background actors, extras. You look great. Thank you very much for helping us out this morning. But uh, look, seriously, you guys have a huge responsibility, all right? You're a small group, but for the camera, you have to represent the entire population of Cairo. Can you do it? Yeah? All right. You gonna stay with the whole time, man? The whole time, sir. I'm counting on you. John, let's lock this down and do it. You got it, boss. All right, place everybody, please. Places and extras, ready. Thank you very much. Stunt teams, ready. Kevin, are you guys set? Kevin, camera's ready. Big bye. Come on, let's set everybody, please. Roll cameras. We're rolling. And speed. Common 16, 124 Apple Cairo, encounter, take one mark. Playback. Background. And action. <laughs>
one of the most dangerous things a stunt performer has to deal with. And with a gag like that last one, we don't get the benefit of hindsight. We've got to get it right the first time every time. Otherwise, somebody could get seriously injured. Actually, which is why I always have this gentleman on my set. Tell me, take a break for a second. Yeah. Let me introduce you to the man responsible for all the bullet hits, the uh, fire effects, the explosions on the set today. My special effects supervisor and demolitions expert, everybody. This is Tony McFaul. Hello, oh, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Tony, do me a favor. You're the, uh, you're the expert in this field. You know a lot more about this stuff than I do. So take some, take some time and talk to everybody about the dangers of working with explosives. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Folks, when you work with explosives, it's dangerous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Kids, stay in school. Please. Thank you, Tony, so much. Uh, let me see if I can elaborate on that a little bit more. Yeah, explosives, we all get it. Obviously very dangerous. But I bet you'd be surprised to find out that more stunt people are injured doing basic, simple fight routines than by performing elaborate gags like the ones we just shot. That's because when I choreograph a stunt fight, my guys, they're, they're throwing punches, they're swinging axe handles with the same kind of intensity as if they were actually hitting somebody. But obviously you've got to miss by just a couple of inches each and every time. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you what, rather than talk about all this stuff, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, actually, Andy, can I borrow one of your extras for a real basic fight routine? Anybody will do? This guy right here? All right, sure. How about a little encouragement for our very brave volunteer? All right, Abdul? Very nice. Where are you from, Abdul? Morocco. That's beautiful. Well, thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Hey, John. Yeah, boss. Do me a favor. Uh, grab me one of my guys who can really throw a punch. Hey, Rich. Yeah. I also want you to hit that guy. <laughs> Abdul, just do what I do, right? Would you do so? Right? Mean face. That's good. Like, you're just going to wail on someone. Turn around. Is that too good? Thanks a lot, Rich. I appreciate it. Rich. Uh, 
In our next scene, Indy and Mary are trying to escape from an enemy camp in the North African desert. You can see behind me, you see a rich. Can you join me now, please? Folks, this is where Indy finds himself face to face with an iron fisted German mechanic played by my stunt actor, everybody. This is Rich Dietrich. Oh. Rich, we got a little bit of time here, so give me a favor. Talk to everybody about the differences between being a stunt actor like yourself and stunt doubles sure. like uh, each other. All right. Well, you see, as a stunt actor, I'll be playing the part of the German mechanic throughout the next scene. Which means I'm a double for me, because I do all my own stunts. That's right, now as a stunt double, it's my job to make you believe that I'm Harrison Ford. And that I'm Karen Allen. Yeah. Some stars like Harrison Ford do a lot of their own stunt work, but sometimes the risk of injury is just too great. You know, if a big star were to get injured, it could shut down the entire picture. Now, if Harrison and I are doing our jobs right, even our own best friends will have a hard time telling us apart. Hey, uh, guys, please talk about a change you just made real quick, please. All right. Hey, Kevin, you know what the difference is between Harrison Ford? No. What? $20 million. Oh! That's harsh. Uh, the guy's got it around. Kevin, especially you and Haley. And Haley's the man of you with the gunner up on the hill. Oh, I believe it. Is that Alex? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's going to open fire on you in the plane. You're going to panic inside the plane. You hit the controls. The plane starts going around in a circle. Right. Here's the change. The first time around is when I want you, no, you, to open up with a machine. Oh, okay. Is that cool? You got it. Yeah. All right. Hey, guys, seriously, hit your marks and be safe. Tell the firepower in this next scene. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, John, I'm ready whenever you are, buddy. All right. Place everybody, please. Places. Ladies and gentlemen, this final scene is the culmination of pretty much all the effects that you've seen so far here today. And would not be possible without the collective effort of the entire cast and crew working together as a team to get the shot and create what we like to call here in the Indiana Jones set, just a little bit of movie magic. Right, guys? John, let's do this. We got it, boss. Right, Alex, ready in the hill. Thank you. Tony, effects ready? Ready to go. Kevin Morgan, camera's ready. Standing by. One set, everybody, please. Roll cameras, roll it, and speed. Common stick scene three, Charlie, does our flight take one mark? Playback! And action!
Thank you, Engineer Tiger, Disney's Hollywood Studios.